There are two main ways that you can use Documate with Zapier. The first is to use Documate as the trigger in your Zap. So as the name suggests, a certain action, which is completing a workflow in Documate will trigger the transfer of data to any other app. So to set up Documate as a trigger, you can either visit the Documate integrations page on Zapier, and you can find this just by searching Documate on Zapier and scrolling down and either selecting a template or clicking on the workflow completed trigger or you can just come to the create a new zap page then in the trigger section of the page you'll search for document and then you'll choose your trigger event which is workflow completed again this means that when a new session of a workflow is completed so that will trigger the transfer of data out of document and into another app that you've selected when you set up a trigger for the first time you'll have to connect your document account when you choose to connect a new account this is what you'll see and the first step is to enter your subdomain the subdomain is what you see before document.org when you log in and then you'll retrieve your api key from your document dashboard from your document dashboard, you can find your API key by choosing settings in the sidebar and choosing API keys. Then if you click the new button, you can create a new API key. We'll call this one Zapier and click create. You'll copy that API key and paste it in this field. Once you've connected and selected your account, you'll click continue. Then to continue setting up your trigger, you'll select the name of the workflow that you would like to use. So here, I'm going to choose to use my sample intake form. And when we click continue, we'll see the option to test this trigger. If you've set up your account correctly, then you'll see when you click test trigger, this success we found data message, and it'll pull in sample data. So here we see each variable and then a sample of the data that can be found in each variable. And this is determined by the question type of each of your document questions. So we can see that these address variables are all going to be text, except for the postcode, which is going to be a number. You can see for some of these other questions, we have true false values or date values like this date of birth. You can just use this test data to verify that all of your questions in document are set up with the correct data type to pass to the app that you're connecting to as your action. The next step is to set up your action. So here you can connect Document to any other app, and this is the app that you will pass your data from Document into. You can refer to the following videos to see examples of how Document can be used as a trigger with other apps. Once we've set up our Zap using Document as the trigger in its entirety, we can activate it by turning the Zap on and then running this sample intake form workflow that we've chosen to connect. So when I click run, that creates a new session and I'm going to enter all of this information and complete my session. So after I enter all of the data in my workflow, I'll find myself on the final review page. And when I click continue on this final review page, that completes my session. This is when my Zap will be triggered and the data from this document session will pass through Zapier and into the other app that I've selected as my action.